Neighbors called 911 when they saw flames coming from this home on Cynthia Street in McAllen. The owner of the home was still at work when he got word. Uh, your house is on fire. Uh, so I, uh, all I thought was a Sparky, you know, a little dog. And so uh, I, I've never driven, you know, that fast in my life. Uh, I, th I, even, I think I even passed up a, a police officer, and I know I probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, you know, all I could think about was my dog, and, and, and I got here, and the fir I guess the first thing they told me was that your dog's all right. Um, you know, I think we got the best firefighters. You know, it's, it's... The fire began in the attic and tore through the roof, but also caused damage inside where Sparky was. Yeah, he was scared and, and, and a firefighter went to, to pet him and, and he, he bit him. Uh, but he understood, you know, that, uh, that he was scared. But uh, he's, he's, Sparky's fine. I mean, he's good. He's, he's, uh, he was in the room where the fire broke out. This is where the fire broke out, in the attic. Now this down here, this is the master bathroom where Sparky was. In fact, right down here is his dish bowl. He was here all alone with the door closed until firefighters arrived. You know, people might say it's just a dog, but they're members of the family. It's amazing how you don't think about the material things. You just think about, you know, who's, who's in the house. Give credit where credit's due. These firefighters are awesome, man. They're, they're excellent.